What's up, everybody? My name is Giannis Pappas, and I am sitting here with my co-host. His name is Chris Stefano, and we are two Thai trans kickboxers who are living the American dream over here, working on becoming better kickboxers to return back to the Thai kickboxing scene. Yeah, it's what it is. I just did Rogan. Yeah, I just did and Rogan. And so did Giannis. And I am Joe Rogan. Yeah, I'm Joe Rogan. I just did a show. It doesn't matter. I want to do the show. We all want to do Rogan. But it's like, now we live in a world where we could just say we did it, and then people be like, you can't find, I can't find them. I'm like, well, I did it. And then you'll just get booked at an improv. Listen, guy, I'm Alexander Hamilton back from the dead, and it's just what it is. Yeah, we're <laughs> sleepy kids. We've been working all day to today uh Giannis is not built out to work hard it's no. not built built <laughs> cackle that. cackle I had a feeling cackle, well I gotta do something to wake you up Mike can you just make a fucking note of that <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> all the way till here and obviously he'll just keep going and, and, and now we're back and I we're noticed back. that every time we took a break today from filming you just took a nap on my daughter's bed I was trying to get in there <laughs> my daughter's gonna say why does my bed smell like a 50% clean ass yeah because like, Yanni was here I'm 93% today wow yeah but not 100% you 100% can only happen after a fresh shower and then a wipe wipe with witch hazel what I'm ex first have of I all inspired anyone to use witch hazel yeah uh, Mikey, do you clean your ass with witch hazel? We have a bidet, but yeah, uh, yeah. I love that Mike has a bidet and roommates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, How do you have both? Yeah, that's a luxury that someone without roommates should have. Uh, my roommates make more money than me. <laughs> you know what? Mike? What do they do? Those fucking FFs. They're they're reporters. Listen, they I work just reporters. Yeah, one works for CNET. One works for some kind of. Free do they think that this podcast is controversial? <laughs> no, no the, uh, one of them's a big fan. The other one doesn't listen to shit. Yeah, so. yeah the other one's just a fucking FF. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with that. That's no cast. The other one, like he has a dog that he just his way of walking it is to leave the back door open and then leave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What an asshole. Yeah. Let's call it. Well, now, now Giannis, Giannis is going to vote for Trump because now it just got passed. Um, and uh, Mrs. Character Pappas piece. is the one who brought this to our attention that a at the uh they just passed federal law that um. If you harm an animal, you get like in serious trouble now. So now that that's you're going to vote for Trump now. I think it's a federal crime, right? Federal crime for animal abuse. That that's a really good thing, and that's great. Um, in a civilized society, that they yeah. have that. And I, Trump, I, uh, Trump did passed it. Yeah. That? Because, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, like there it. you go. Yeah. It wasn't his idea. What do you I mean, say now? Says, do you agree with it? What do you say now? Is, is the dog park going? Is the dog park going to vote for him now? Or are you fucking dog walkers going to vote for him now? Are you voting for him? Not a 14. No. <laughs> the truth of the situation is I'm not, I can't vote for anyone. I'm not a U.S. citizen. I was born in Canada. Yes, you were born in Canada. <laughs> if you got to know the truth, I, he truly is a Canadian kid, and I really am a Greek kid from Peru. It's what it we is. We don't have citizenship. Where the situation wants to take my daughter. I'm a lightheaded. Peru. We need to eat that's something. That's going to happen, lady. Yeah, that's not going down. I'll go to court. You can't take her out of the U.S. without my permission. I'm not giving it. What's going on in Peru? I don't know. She probably wants to open up the third eye with four. 20. As look as. I mean, we're tired. We're just going to have yeah. to take swings. It's the only option I have is to take big swings <laughs> to wake it. people up and I'll ruin relationships and I'm not going to get invited to Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah. what it, it's the only option right now because Yanni's dead. Chris is going to have to celebrate Kwanzaa because he's not yeah. allowed at Christmas anymore. You yeah, not after the Harry Tubman episode. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simp. Chris is, uh, Chris is creating his own version of a classic Christmas carol. You know that you know the story? Yeah. Right? Three, three ghosts. Story. Giannis yeah. is holding the microphone like a Siggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only because he doesn't smoke. He does not smoke cigarettes. He's never smoked a cigarette in his life, but he's holding it now because he wants one bad. So he's just holding the mic like a ciggy. Yeah, it's what it is. 
as look as Chris's Christmas Carol is just him looking through the window like the ghost of Christmas past is with him, <laughs> looking at all the Christmas parties of his family that he can't get into now. It's what it is. I'm <laughs> Tiny Tim. It's called Christmas Carol Ridgewood. Yeah. And you're just not allowed at any of those parties. Yeah, Vanity has said I could come to her house for great Christmas. Vanity has yeah. been Vanity is also, you know, she's been working hard when her hair's just all over the place. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I like her hair like that. Yeah. Pat no. wants to touch it. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> Pat, you can't do that. You can't yeah, and you can't come in my green room at Gotham. You can't. I've told you that it's a club's policy, but it's my policy. <laughs> no more friends or family in the green room. And also, no more friends and family at my shows. You guys have seen my act. I want my people. Yanni can come. Venetia, Mikey, Zach, Russian weirdo in the corner. You guys can come. Yeah. But I'm not having just friends and family. It's like, why do you want to come watch me do comedy every time I do comedy locally? It's like, guy, you seen my shit. Yeah. Just do, am I showing up at your job at FedEx, Debo? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. They support you a lot. <laughs> They do support yeah, you. Yeah, but it's like... It's yeah, supportive. Yeah. Support what? It's, and sexually assault the staff? Yeah. Okay. Well, no okay. ass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, fucking... You know, Patty's going to get us fucking sued. Don't say Pat. No. It's character <laughs> piece. Character piece. <laughs> Life 14. Benetti character is going to end up suing us. He's going to sue us through that incident and, and clean out all our Patreon money. Clean out our Patreon money and then leave. That's been our master plan from the beginning. She's a Spartan bitch. <laughs> Word, 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 word. <laughs> yeah. Well, today we're talking about what guy? Cuz stop Harriet trying. Tubman. I just called Venetia Cuz. I'm losing. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz, yeah. stop trying to reel no. us in. We're gonna have to go wherever it takes us because I'm running on fumes. Yeah. We're gonna talk about Harriet Ooh. Tubman, but I want to call myself Harriet Tuckman because I just like to get tucked back. <laughs> 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 yeah, tuck it back. I want to give myself a la puss. I'm Harriet Tuckman. Oh God! Oh God! I mean, you took some swings and then you got up to bat for the fourth time and you you put one over the wall. I put one over the wall, which is where a mic's going if the audio doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Mike, you mean Zach. Oh, yeah, Zach, you could go too. Yeah, I mean, you're just confusing people's just jobs confused. right it now. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, it's one. Of, I don't even know who's doing what job anymore. I'm yeah. fucking delirious. My ears are fucking hot. Yeah, we've only eaten one meal today, and then we had donuts in the morning. I'm just out of it. Yeah, and then we had smoothies, and then, yeah, and then. And then <laughs> needs to fucking find deodorant. That's the only That's thing what we it learned is. today. Oh, my God. If we get to the next 200,000 members on Patreon, we're going to find a gift of Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, we're going to do a little thing called Secret Santa for our staff and what's going to be in his stocking is a men's yeah! deodorant. We got it a secret stinky. Because <laughs> should we do... Should what we, are we doing anymore? What, we just we, lost. We just lost the guy. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're, we're cackling that. Hey, cackle, we should cackle and that. Cackle that too. And the deo you got to cackle the, no, the deodorant. Will he'll no, find come funny. on. I don't want to hurt him. No, that was the first thing we had to cackle. So yeah. Okay, so all right. it's all and we're back. Harry Tuckman. Yeah, we're back. I'm back with Harry. <laughs> you guys Tuckman. are too tired to tell us which ones to cackle. Yeah, I yeah, mean, we don't know Mike, what's going on. Just want to tell us about Harry Tubman. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First, let's just ask Mike. Mike's in a good mood today. Thank he is God. In good mood. Yeah, we're going to invite La him to the next meeting. Yeah, uh, last <laughs> last <laughs> last episode, he was really in a bad mood. It's good yeah, to see him back. Yeah, he was in a bad mood because oh, okay. of fucking yeah. Because yeah. we yeah we know so, yeah a couple so. fatties. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. Okay, let's. We got crystal clear Chrissy. We got steel pipe Chrissy. And a new Chrissy has emerged that we have yet to identify, and that Chrissy is called Burn It Down Chrissy. Burn It Down Chrissy. Burn It Down Chrissy? Yeah. Your new nickname is General yeah. Sherman. Or Chrissy Swingers. Tricky. I'm taking swings. You're taking swings. Yeah. You're taking swings. Yeah, I'm Chrissy Swingman. You're, you're Chrissy fucking Burn It Down General Sherman. Yeah. Yeah. General fucking Sherman, you're burning a hole through the fucking comedy scene. It's what it is. It's I'm, what happened. Yeah, like, yeah, Gerd's burning a hole through my esophagus, and I'm burning a hole through the comedy scene. I'm Harry Tuckman. You're Harry Tuckman, <laughs> and that's what you do. Yeah, that's what I like to do. I, when I get my La Puss, I'm Harry Tuckman. And now, Mike, yeah, you're in a good mood today, which is good, because last week I thought I was going to have to start tickling you to make you laugh. <laughs> yeah. And I will tickle you. Are you doing okay? Gonna... <laughs> he smells really like good. a shoe. Everything's going good? <laughs> 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 It's what it is. Mike, how's your podcast going? I already quit that. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you also even have to quit Bobby's too because we can't have you running from our Sandra D shoots to go do his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's just we're just gonna have to hire you full time. It's what it is. By the way, everyone's hired. I'm hiring the Russian kid too, even though he does nothing. I'm hiring him to sit in the corner. That's what we need. You just need him to yeah, sit he's there. just a, he, that's it. You're on the staff. Yeah, we, we just need someone to sit in the corner and be unsure what he's doing here. Yeah, you're just gonna. Yeah, we need someone at all times to be like, who's that? And why is he here? Yeah, I like him. He's got fucking UFC fighter face. Yeah. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, thank you guys. We, as you know, we hit the thousand. Mark on Patreon at patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Uh, let's be honest. Nobody's doing Patreon like the history. I We're screwed in with Patreon. that. We, you, yeah. we keep getting compliments from all of our matriarchy members, and you're fucking welcome. Yeah. You're welcome because we're giving you the goods. And guess what you're about to get? I don't know if they're going to get this by the time this episode comes out. But boom, the Sandra D video is a up and running. Yeah, it's up and right. running. So I hope you're enjoying your nightmare seeing me as Sandra D. I mean, it is. <laughs> there's two parts of that that changed my life today. Okay. Two parts of the Sandra D video. Do you want to explain change. to people what that is? For I want you to explain it on our Patreon. I want yeah. you to explain it. Okay, so um, Patreon is a platform where you can go and sign up low as five dollars to get more content of these crazy kids and crazy kids. I like that crazy, crazy kids. kids. I was trying to yeah, you're fucking. Yeah. 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 yeah, she's yeah, not on air. She's not on air talent. Thank I'm, God. She's at least someone doesn't want to have her own podcast. <laughs> but it is. Do you want some Pervertin? We'll lighten you up. Not okay. yet. Um, but. Uh, the boys have had a thousand mark of how you have now a thousand Patreon members yeah. and you guys promise if you guys got to that, you will make a Sandra D video. And for those who don't know what Sandra D means, please go to our history hyenas uh, website and you can check out our glossary that explains all of this crazy lingo. Exactly. Yeah, history hyenas.com. And the two things that changed my life about this video were one, Seeing you as uh, as <laughs> as uh, what's her name, Rez? Yeah, Riz 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 Chrissy Riz plays Riz singing in the Sandra TV, <laughs> and uh, and uh, it, it, when you when you see it, it's gonna change your life in a bad way. Yeah, it's bad. And then the other one, which bad. I I don't think will ever, it's burned. It's it's burned an indelible mark in my brain. Was Mike Emoji Face, Mike Suarez. Playing one dressed of- as Frenchie <laughs> from Greece. <laughs> I thought it was Marty. Anyway. Now, oh yeah, but we got that picture. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Now, and I can't wait to best. post that. When we get that thing up, Andrew Agos is gonna have a ball with that thing. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait to get that thing up. You've never seen anything more funny in your entire life. Yeah. I'll be honest. We're gonna with you. post it, Mike. After you left, they can confirm that I laughed. Um, when she sent me the picture she had, I laughed for like a good three minutes straight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, it was just a 10. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen. fucking 10. Yeah. <laughs> Show it to Zach. Yeah. yeah. Zach, yeah. 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 Show it to the guy in the corner who we're not sure what he's yeah, doing. What he's, yeah. 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 He's, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck it. Next time I try to get on a plane, they ask for my passport. I'm just gonna show them that picture <laughs> yeah. and say that's what I'm a fucking member of. I look Dutch. You just, it just, you got a funny face that goes in a wig. Yeah, and it just worked. Yeah, out. it's like it's you know, and then you know, I gotta check texts. Like people are asking me, like, what show is it best to come to Friday or Saturday? It's like, make. Why don't you make your own choice? You're a grown fucking man. I have to tell you what show to come to. Come to whatever fucking show you want, guy. Are these people on the list? Yeah, just suck free tickets out of my ass. Yeah. Like, what What do you want? Yeah, guy, you got to, yeah, you got to, what are you going to do? I mean, you're Chris, you, yes, look at you're in your hometown, you're a hometown kid. And I'm let, a hometown hero. Let's, I'm a hometown hero, hometown homo. Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> let's just call it what it is, Harry Tuckman. Yeah, I'm Harry Tuckman, the hometown homo. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like a, you're like a black kid that just got a fucking NBA deal. There's a lot of tickets that people want to come to the yeah, game. Yeah, they just want to, they want to get for free and they need to put the car seat together to LaGuardia. Listen, Chrissy, I'm going to be coming to your house earlier because I need to put the baby to go pick up, uh, you know, the sister baby. And then I only got one car seat, so if I have two babies and one car seat, you know, I think I need to borrow your car seat to make that too. Does that make sense to you? Can I come by that? But I don't need to come to you because, you know, I'm scared to take the train to myself. So could you put me to maybe uh, uh, Uber and, and come, yeah. come so I could come to your house in the Uber and then you could drive the Uber back? And how does that work? Yeah, yeah. and I will come to you to walk, but I can't. Yeah, the Uber has to come inside to my living room because I broke my foot. Yeah, can we be doing this? It doesn't matter. Yes, because I'm delusional right now. <laughs> 
And it doesn't matter. I'm delusional and delirious. It's and I want to talk about piece. Harriet Tubman. It's a character piece, piece. yeah. It's Harriet piece. Tubman, she was a screwed in kid, Harriet Tubman. She was. She she invented the Underground Railroad, which isn't a railroad. If you think, if you still to this day are listening to this podcast and you think the Underground Railroad was an actual railroad, <laughs> I got two words for you. Franks and Beans, that's three words because I'm Franks and Beans. Yeah, the Underground Railroad, which <laughs> if you think, it, the Underground Railroad that Harriet Tubman is famous for is kind of like the History Hyenas <laughs> podcast. Yeah. If you think this is a history podcast, you got another, another thing, thing coming. coming. If you think the Underground Railroad is an actual railroad, I mean, you 1,000% are a fan of this podcast. You're a fan of this podcast, and I guarantee you, you definitely get government assistance because you're a stupid fucking kid. You're fucking stupid. Fucking yeah. Stupid. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. Now, Harriet Tubman, she was just, the thing is, the thing is, she's an American hero, and she's going to be on the $20 bill to get off Andrew Jackson, yeah. who's a white racist. Yeah, allegedly. Well, yeah, I mean, or he, he is. He did. He went to war with a lot of Native Americans, killed a lot of Native Americans. But they would have killed us if we didn't kill them. At some point, that's a character piece. Yeah, it's, at it's a character piece. At some point, it's uh, character piece. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a complicated situation. I mean, he did do it's a lot. Not about that. He, he he committed some atrocities. The guy did. And Harry Tubman, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people, say, it's just a better choice. It's a great, great decision to put someone like that on money so you can show how we've evolved in yes. values as a country. Harriet Tubman was born in 1820, died in 1913. She was a 93-year-old kid. Living back then, that's a strong, gene-willed I, woman. I mean, babe, to live to 93 back then is like living to 193 now. I mean, that's just an old kid. She made it a long way, and yeah. she also took a blow to the head, which uh, caused her dizzy spells and kind of uh, yeah, headaches she, her whole life. When she was young, uh, one, her slave, uh, uh, the slave master that she was working with somebody tried to throw a weight at another slave, and that he ducked out of the way like a fucking cartoon, and it hit Harry Tubman in the head. Harry Tubman was born in Maryland. You know how they say it. That's how they Merlin. say it. Maryland, Maryland. Yeah, which is a good state, but you know, she was she was born uh, on a slave plantation, um, and we don't know whether she was born in eighteen twenty or twenty one. I mean, when you go to the South, though, do you find it disturbing that you could still like tour a slave plantation and it look 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 so beautiful and the grass is cut? Like, does it bother you when you go to the South that they still have slave? plantations it's weird man it's, it's weird a, right it's just a weird what do you mean as like a museum like i don't have a problem honestly with the confederate statues only because it's history it's history it's like you need to know where you came from so leave that up there and teach the children like these were men that in my opinion they could tear them down i don't give a fuck i mean like put that shit in a museum fucking statues go to winners yeah. So I'm actually for those statues coming down because I'm not I'm not for like erasing their memory or like whatever. It's like yeah, that's like good you should know about that. But but uh, why are there statues for fucking losers? Yeah, and, and what they stood for and what they were fighting for. You guys lost and you had a bad cause. I mean, who's gonna say any different than that? Right? No, I'm, I I that's agree. what I believe. Come I at me, bro. I, no, I'm, I agree with you, bro. But I'm just saying right. I'm just saying Don't. that I think that the plantations are different because it's like it's where like. It's like having like a constant, like even when we visited the concentration camp in Dachau, it's like, it's cool, but it's like if you're taking pictures of it and like the putting it on Instagram, like hashtag plantations, it's just a little like so many atrocities happen there. It's weird. Yeah, it is. But a I don't know. You but know? it's a historical story. Yeah, but I still go back to St. Matthias and I got fucked in the air by a priest there. So yeah, you, you go back to- you, that's, that's, okay. that's a That's okay. That's a museum in a way. Yeah, in a way, I'm, I'm going back to live my atrocities. It's what it is. That's where I got screwed in. I Shout out Father Bill. Yeah, I love that they have stuff like that because it's history. I yeah. love all the historical societies that preserve- You're a kid that loves history. You prance around for history. I go p -p 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 pewing for it. You go pewing for history and boat. And shout out to all the uh, the the historical societies. There's one in particular, I can't remember, it escapes me, that basically saved- Savannah. Are you Yanni Sundowns right now? I'm Yanni Sundowns and I'm Yanni Overworked, but Savannah has basically been preserved because yeah. of- hardcore lobbying yeah. from historical societies. And a lot of those historical societies never get the credit, but a lot of the history that you can tour that's remained intact is because of historical societies and, and, and people, uh, uh, you know, of the like, like-minded people like that who want to preserve those things. And it's important to preserve those things so we learn from history. Yeah, because you have to... To know where you're going, you have to see where you came from. To know where you're going, you got to see where you came from. It's what it is. Yeah, that's just you got to know to know. You know, you got to look back to look forward. Yeah, you have to. This the only other. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way. But yeah, when you go to those plantations and you you see the size of Big Massa's house. Yeah. You see those plantation mansions. You yeah. go. You know what? You and then you look at the the slave quarters on the side or in the back. You go. 
Yeah. You, you know what buys you a house like that? And then yeah. you turn around and you're like, that right there. That right When there. you don't have any expenses. In 1849, Harry Tubman uh, escaped uh, her um, plantation where she was, and she used the Underground Railroad system. Um, and after a long and scary trip, she made it to Pennsylvania. And the first thing somebody said to her was, do you want a wooder? Would you like a wooder? <laughs> Would you like a wooder? You look thirsty from escaping slavery. Do you mean a wooder? You, you look it's like, Tuesday. Would you like a Hugie and a wooder? You, you look lost. Are you trying to find out how to get a him? <laughs> do, do you want to get a him? You're in Pennsylvania. And I would like. We have wooders on Tuesdays. And if you want, my wife has a him. And you can also have a Hugie and good sixers. I can help you find out where you're going. Hold on. Let me just make a call. Does anyone have a phone? Does anyone have a phone? <laughs> oh, look. Even though it's 1849, if you look up, that's a drone. Go Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, clone. <laughs> <Food. laughs> yeah. Oh, would you like... I would. Uh, let me call him on the phone and get you a scone. Because... That's the first. That's, that's what they said when she got to Pennsylvania. That's, okay. that's exactly how that's it happened. Exactly how she happened. And then she said, "I want to go back to slavery." Yeah. <laughs> that's no okay. cat. She goes, "I don't like these fucking Philly Back-to-be. people." Yeah, she's like, "This Philly accent is so fucking bad that I'd rather be in chains and have to listen to you say wooder." Because yeah, and Philly people are animals. I guarantee you, she came up and they were like fucking eagles and they were yeah. pouring beer all over themselves. Yeah, as soon as she fuck- fucking crossed, she was like, "I'm going back." As soon as she crossed Pennsylvania State Line, she got hit with a fucking battery. Yeah, that's what happens that's in that fucking is. animal that's state. Okay. You guys are all animal. Yeah, you're all animal, and you all got fucking fumes, except the one that I cracked open. Please tell me you're not pregnant. <laughs> Lot of fourteen. 14. Her Caris real Caris. name is dope, though. What's her real name? Her real name was Arab. Venetia? Ar- no, oh. Venetia is a dope name too. Venetia's real name is Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> Today it is, right? right. Yeah. Dope. How do you feel being a Greek kid having a German day? Yeah, you're having a German day, and it's being led by a fucking German that we were able to get over to the hike. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't like you in leather-looking coats anymore. Yeah, you, you don't ruined want to see that. It I just don't like looking at you and seeing any type of pleather or leather on that body. It yeah. looks too like officer of you. Yeah, who's. but it was. It would have been funny if, like, when we, if, like, I was a Nazi officer and, like, I enslaved Greek, your Greek people. No, there's nothing funny about. <laughs> no, not that it's funny. No, but there's saying, nothing me, funny about me that. coming with my officer jacket and then just my butt hanging out of my jacket. Yeah, that would be <laughs> that funny. Would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. I'd, I'd get a little giggle before I went in one of your chambers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That would be great. Yeah, like, look at this guy's Nazi butt. Well, yeah, one of the most horrific moments. That happened on this podcast when you said that you were going to tie me and Venetia to the type of top of a fucking truck and march us through, yeah. so so we could you could kill more of the Greek villagers. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. You that was have said that. Piece. Yeah, that was, that a, was character a character piece. piece. Yeah, that was a character. We're freaking that was a character out the new guy. piece. And anything I said about my family is a character piece. It's a character piece. That's <laughs> my <laughs> friend, Patty Mo Rudy. He only pays for Fox News. Yeah, it was just a it's the only channel he's got. Fox News. He lost his remote control. He watches Fox News. It's not his fault. It's just it's not his fault. <laughs> just character piece, but let's character talk about piece. Harry Tubman. She's she looked like a good kid. She was a good kid. And her real name, how beautiful is that name? Araminta. Well, gorgeous. Her her birth name was Araminta. And that was her nickname as a child, was Minty. Yeah. It was fucking mint. mint. So her, her birth name was Araminta Ross, but she eventually took uh, the name of her mother, which was Harriet. To me, I'm gonna say Araminta beats out Harriet. Yeah. Araminta is more beautiful than Harriet. Yeah. That would be like if Venetia changed her name to Ethel. Yeah. You know, Veneti is just much more beautiful. Yeah, Veneti is a beautiful name. And is it fully Greek or is it Italian? Uh, Venetia means Venice in Greek. I love how she, yeah, she threw the accent on it. I love when foreign people do that. Yeah, Veneti. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Uh, Veneti. Yeah. Yeah, just say Veneti. Veneti, yeah. Yeah. Not Venetia. Say say it the Greek way. Veneti. Veneti. My name's Veneti. What you can hear in that accent. It means Venice in uh, Greek. Yeah, it also means doors closed for anyone who's not Greek. Yeah, it's just it's what not it gonna is. happen. Yeah. Word. Okay. Dope. Stop. Stop leaving your phone number on your fucking review on iTunes. Yeah. Dude, whoever that fucking, fucking if, idiot was, way to just waste your fucking finger strength. Because I mean, the fact that you even thought you could took a chance. I mean, guy, if your name, the only kid that's got a chance on our Patreon is a kid Pericles. That's it. <laughs> Because he's Greek. He's Greek. And listen, to the fucking fan I saw last night, this Dan who, t- who DM'd me after we stopped talking three minutes and then said I'm better looking in person, you fucking freaked me out. Yeah, you freaked me Just out. Just say you like the podcast and keep it moving. Yeah. Don't text me I'm better looking in person. I, I fucking freaked out by you. Yeah, Giannis sent me the screenshot ass. of the message you sent him, and then I locked all my windows and doors. Yeah, no, You're we a can't. freak show, but we thanks for your money. We appreciate all the support. <laughs> We appreciate yeah. all the fucking support, and I'm looking at my phone instead of my notes. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking dehydrated. Did you just fart? Can somebody 
to give me a water? You want to eat it? Can I get a water? Um, Let me get a water. The thing is with Harry Tubman, what's great about What's Harry, the thing with Harry well, Tubman? Because the Underground Railroad is what most people Talk to me about. to Professor but Stefano. She, she was also a spy. She was a spy for the North. She knew, here's what happened, because she realized that any t- when the, the North started to come and like liberate all the slaves in the South, when they started to march in, they would just burn down their plantations and the slaves would hide in the woods. But she realized that the gunner boats that the Union Army had would take the slaves behind enemy lines. So she started leading uh, behind Union lines where they would be free. So Harry Tumman started leading uh, Union troops to where different plantations were because she had inside info and they would raid the plantations, free the slaves, and then they would take the slaves with Harry Tumman on the Union gunner boats and take them back to the free North. She was a Dumb. remarkable woman. Yeah, Harry Tubman, it, she, like she would go. She's the a, a, a great example of a person who went above and beyond. Now you got to understand what the uh, railroad was. It's kind of like the game Frogger. You know, it's like everywhere is unsafe territory, and there's these uh, safe houses everywhere. And so it was basically a map of safe houses. So they would kind of leapfrog from one to the other, stay in hiding there, maybe spend the night. Then at night, uh, the next day or a week later, they'd get on the run again. And it was, it was safe house to safe house, just leapfrogging like Frogger to get all the way to Canada. The goal was to get to Canada, especially after the, um, the slave. Yeah, Giannis um, just ripped the paper in half. Yeah, especially so after. Be a, be what's a minute the, for this history. What's the classic. act called? What was the slavery? Um, the slavery app? No. The, <laughs> oh, I thought you said, what's the app called? I was Imagine like, oh, there was no. an app for slavery? That I would be brutal. Was, yeah, that would be brutes, but no, good. That would have fumes, that app. The, um, the what app. would the slavery app it was, be called? What was it called, that the act? Slave act. Say it again? The fugitive slave act. So the fugitive act. slave act. 1850. Especially after 1850, this Fugitive Slave Act was uh, a, an act that um, said basically that if you were a escaped slave... Like you escaped, you made it to the north. If you were a escaped slave and you were in a free territory, didn't matter. You would be captured and returned to your owner. But how? But who would... But now, so you had to get to Canada to get out of fucking... But guy, let me ask you... You had to get out... Be, be, you had to, at that point, you wanted to get... Out of the bounds of this great country and the laws of this great country because they weren't so great. They weren't so great. The laws weren't so but great. Guy, let me ask you this question. Ask me the fucking question, guy. Let me guy. ask you this question, guy. If you went to the north, let's say, let's say you're a slave and you made it, you know, from South Carolina, you know, you got your towns creaked, cracked open and cleaned out at uh, Rocky Hill Dentistry, and then you made it, and then you make it out and you make it to the north, you get all the way up to Ninth Street Auto Collision in <laughs> in Long Island, and you're free. You're free in Ninth Street, yeah. um, and you got nice, clean, fucking pearly white teeth from from Doctor Harvey Spencer Jr. Yeah. Um, so in down in South Carolina. Wait, that's actually funny. Are you saying that like God forbid something horrible happens again and the South tries to do some stupid shit and bring back slavery that we through our hundred dollar sponsors have developed a uh, underground railroad to escape to yeah, New York City? Underground railroad to escape and then and then we got But you do you you do it, you started Harvey Spencer Jr.'s dentistry. Yeah, and then you get C B D script oil to, to get you through the journey, and then we got different stops along the way where there's meals provided by nutrition made fun. <laughs> And then if you want to be a healthy kid because you need the healthy calories and you take a little lakeside maple, put it in your ass. It gives put it in your you, ass. It gives you superpowers. And then, if, and, then, and, then, and, then if, and then if you put too much lakeside maple up your ass and you get an infection, you talk to Dr. Sandra Azizi. He's a GI doctor. He's a GI doctor and he'll fix you he'll up. He'll fix your ass right up. So let's say you make it to Ninth Street Auto Collision. And if you get caught and you're just depressed, then you got to take some CBD script. Yeah, and if you just <laughs> – yeah, you got to take some CBD script. Yeah. Yeah, and if, you, and, if, and if you shit your pants and you need clean underwear, then you could – caught. Go on to Tank's Good News and get a pair of his tidy whites. Yeah, they go to Tank's Good News and just feel good about yourself even though you've been captured. Yeah, even though you've been captured, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then, then D- James and Chooser just fucking get Bitcoin. And then, yeah, and then James Altucher will just be there handing you $500 a minute. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Kid's got too much money. He's best friends with Tony Robbins. Yeah. So that's how we're going to do our sponsors from now on. That's how we're going to um, do it. We're going to work. We're gonna, we're, we're, yeah, we'll work them into we'll our history. Into the story. So let me ask you a question. So let's say you've ask made it all, your question, you guy. made it all the way up to Ninth Street Auto Collision. Yeah, guy. And, and now you're safe in the north. Yeah, guy. Okay, you're safe in the northern states. Now, with this 1850s Fugitive Slave Act, was it northern people that would turn the slaves, turn you into a southern person for money? Or yes. were they letting the yes. South come in? Both. That's, so it was Both. a dirty game. So the, that's the thing. That's the thing. Even though I'm a northern kid and I fucking love this country and I'm, and I'm happy to be a, uh, uh, a citizen of the Northeast, I don't believe that the North was completely innocent either. I mean, no. they would probably do stuff like that. And no. also, really, a big part of it was, like, the, the, the cotton was in the South. So it's right. like, geography is destiny. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Geography is destiny. I feel like the South did what they did. They're not evil, more evil people. 
they just they they needed they didn't need the slaves they the cotton was there and they to get the mass product out they had they 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 had the slaves on the plantations where the north they didn't need slaves as much as the south did right IMO the people who were helping um, <laughs> at these safe houses uh, were called conductors um, so they weren't actual train conductors as we just mentioned yeah I, every time those train conductors come by and they look if, I can never find my ticket to punch a hole through but yeah. I will punch the next conductor through if he looks at me wrong yeah you will you I'll punch, punch somebody right right softly mouth. on the fucking lips I'm a horned up kid yeah it's I'm on pervitin it's what's gonna <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's what they would do. They were called conductors, but they would basically facilitate um, the escape from these slaves. Harriet Trubman herself, it's thought, um, led 19 different escapes from the South and helped around 300 slaves Wow, to, help, to escape to Canada. Absolutely. So there's a bunch of black people living in Canada now that say, A. Let's say A yeah. because of there. Yeah. Yeah. They say, yo, I like the new Drake, A. Eh? Yeah. And it's because of Harriet Tubman. Well, God Drake bless her. <laughs> Drake, Drake is probably one, one of them. them. Yeah. He's also half Jew. Yeah. Yeah. Kid's got a good mix. He's got a good mix there. Um she, she was known as the, she was known as Moses. She, she was, was an extremely religious woman. She learned religion and about the Bible and all that from her mother, whose name is Harriet. If I was born during this time, I would be a really religious person too. Yeah. I mean, it's like, what else are you gonna do? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like you could die from a infection. There's slavery. You have to somehow like pretend like you're okay with this whole thing. They used to call it the peculiar institution. I mean, it's so that's a weird. Can you imagine? It's so far fetched from us because it's not part of our experience at all. But there was a time that like you'd walk around and there was like slaves. Yeah, you were looking at somebody going like, "You're not a free person." Like. That's you don't have rights. They don't, you don't teach you as a right, human being. Dude, that's nuts. Yeah, like they don't have that's why Harry Tubman, they're not even sure if she was born in 1820 or 1821, because she was born into slavery where they just didn't even care about record keeping for them. Yeah. Which is brutal. I mean, it's it's absolutely freaking, freaking brutal, man. Um, she was so successful at helping the slaves escape. I mean, because she was a celebrity in her own right for obviously all the right reasons, that there was a forty thousand dollar reward put on her head to to capture her. Yeah. Because she was just so good at getting the fucking slaves free. Yeah, and she was a homeowner, too. She owned a home? She owned a home. She actually bought a house. In New York City. She moved to New York City. Well, Auburn, New York. Oh, I thought she moved to the city. Oh, she, she <laughs> you got to show a passport to get to Auburn, New York? You do have to show a passport to get to Auburn, New York. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's my friend, Patty Mulroney. He, he only has one channel. Yeah, I remember one time my dad noticed my mother's hair was different. He's like, what'd you dye at Auburn? And he knew that that was a gay thing. He was like, I didn't mean like that. I meant like the school. I was like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so she bought it. She actually bought a house for her, uh, for her parents after she helped her parents. Now, this is a really good part of the story. She actually, via the Underground Railroad, helped her parents escape the South. And bought them a freaking house Fuck yeah. in Auburn, New York. Hell yeah. New York. Cute. Let's go drink a smoothie. Yeah, by the way, real quick, I just want to say in 1863, with that raid that I was talking about where she helped free the slaves for the with the North, it was uh, Colonel James Montgomery and 150 black soldiers on a gunboat raid in South Carolina, maybe close to Rocky Hill. Maybe yeah. they were getting their tap. Rock Hill, South Carolina. Rock Hill. A healthy, uh, a healthy, happy smile. smile. She had inside information from her scouts that the Union gun and the Union gunboats were able to surprise the Confederate rebels in South Carolina because of Harriet Tub Tub. I always feel like there's like so many different people named Montgomery. In American history. Yeah. There's always some fucking lieutenant colonel named Montgomery. Yeah, and everybody's- There's too many Montgomerys. There's too many Montgomerys. There's too many Muhammads. <laughs> Wait, it's not Wait, just because it's a popular Wait, name. I'm saying just it's a popular Wait, name. I didn't mean that. Wait, it's just Montgomery Wait, sounded too much like Muhammad. Wait, 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 I, know, Wait, I know what you're saying. You're just saying that I didn't mean it that anything it's a about name. the Muslim religion. It's just yeah, it's, it's too a popular piece. It's like there's too many Johns. Like there's too many Yannis in Greece. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's too many Johns. Yeah. Johns. And there's not enough Venetia. Yeah. Sorry, there's not enough Venetia. Venetia. It's a good thing Montgomery went away. Yeah. You don't want to be at Starbucks and have too many Montgomery's. Like, oh, that's my latte. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah. The Mundo. Yeah, there's a lot of names. We should bring Montgomery back, though, now, because no. now it's been out for a while. Let's bring Montgomery back. Let's you think back so? Old timey names. Old timey. Like- just the names. I don't want the fucking ideas coming back, but just the names. Because nice Montgomery. What's another good fucking name? Phineas. <laughs> she also led. She Aloysius. Also, Aloysius. Aloysius. Good name. Matthias. <laughs> Harriet. Uh, Ichabod. Ichabod. Wow, Ichabod. That's, that's that a good guy. name. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> well, Jesus is well, alive and well in the Hispanic community. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, if you ever need getting your tire changed, it's probably Jesus did it. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that's that's no that, these are just stupid jokes. Yeah. My brain is fried. Yeah. It's like, I know that these are low caliber jokes. Just come at I'm him. Sorry and about that, but say it to my face, and guess where your face is going to go? Mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. 
We got a fucking bunch of mashed potatoes for a bunch of people. Yeah, for a bunch of people. We're going to walk around with fucking mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be one of our first sketches that we live. It's just me walking around with a plate of mashed potatoes and people fucking pissing me off and then their face going in it. Your face goes into that's mashed some potatoes. That's awesome idea for us. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm going to walk around with a bucket my, of mashed potatoes. If you put Mike's face into mashed potatoes, he's just going to start eating it. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> he's just not gonna, wrong. He's just going to start licking around. Not wrong. My Aunt Annie makes the best mashed potatoes and I wish I could have them, but I didn't get invited to the house. No, you're looking Uh-oh. through the window like what fucking can you do? Oliver Twist. Yeah, I'm going to sleep That's outside 420's house. It's just what you're going to do. And, I and by the way, stop messaging me, our fans, even though I love you guys. About I'm not coming to your house for the holidays either. You're yeah. like, oh, sorry. Hey, I know you never met me, but you could come by my house. I'm like, no, you live in fucking Mississippi. Is anyone starting to suspect that 420 doesn't exist? It's just a character piece? Because Chris is a liar. I think 420 <laughs> is just Chris. Yeah, I think yeah. it's just Chris. I think he, another, goes, he has another Instagram account. <laughs> I mean, he has his other life we don't know yeah, about. Yeah. I'm a psychopath. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've just sit and laugh in my bathtub. <laughs> that makes I'm, me so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there, <laughs> there's more. I'm not alone. Is there? <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's what it is. Go to my website, christycomedy.com. I'm doing theaters now. It's just what it is. I got, you got to sell the tickets to do the theaters because I don't want to do comedy clubs in the fucking mall anymore. But are we going to get proof that 420 exists? Wait, what? what is it? What song is this? Is this American history yet? Goodbye, horses. Because this is what I think happens. I think you come home and you say, What is this from? What movie? Honey, I'm home. 420, I'm home. And then you run to the other side of the room and you say, Hi, Chris. Um, been waiting for you for a long time, and that's you just tuck dip, you tuck back, yeah, no pants on. Harry Tuckman, and then you just <laughs> you walk right to the middle of the room and you start just fucking dancing, yeah, and you just start. Oh fucking dancing. yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. So you are four twenty, little Buffalo Bill. Yeah, you're four twenty. Yeah, and you talk to yourself and you start making out with yourself in the mirror. It's what it, it is. is. Yeah, what but it then is. one day my appetite's going to get too much, and then you're going to become four twenty. That's what's going to happen. Take it from your bed in the middle of the night, and you're going to put yeah. my skin on you. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're going to wake up, and you're just going to wake up, and you're like, "What's in my feet?" I'm going to be sniffing them. Yeah, <laughs> and you're going to go. Benetia's going to go to the bathroom, and she's just going to see my corpse in the fucking bathtub. And she's going to go, what's that? What's that? And you're going to go, put the fucking dog in the basket. Yeah. yeah. She's going to turn back. Because you're going to make a fucking right. flesh suit out of me. I'm going to be full Harriet Tuckman. Yeah. Yeah. But you're going to be happy because it'll be the first time that your eyes are far enough apart. Yeah, because you can pull them apart with scissors. <laughs> with sizzies. <laughs> Because right, what let, are we yeah, doing? Let, let's just what have the, we become? Let's read the this Patreon is, names. This is magic. This yeah. is Manning. <laughs> Harry Tubman. Magic. She lived 93 to 93. She fucking made the Underground Railroad, which isn't a railroad. She's a great, great, great American hero. She deserves and will be on the $20 bill. Um, and she gets, she would, if she was running for president right now, she would be a female I would and could vote for. I still, I, I'm with her. When I say I'm with her, it's because I'm with Harry Tubman. Yeah, you know, when you little millennials are running around and thinking, you know what, I did so much today because I said hashtag resist. Just remember people like Harriet Tubman, what they did. She lived till 93 years old. She's responsible for about 750 slaves escaping during the Civil War. She acted as a fucking spy. She was a conductor in the fucking Underground Railroad. She had a $40,000 bounty on her head and nobody f- caught her and she bought her parents a home in Auburn, New York City. Yeah. The, the girl yeah. was a nurse. Yeah. She was a born a slave, ended up a nurse, and then bought her parents a home. Kaya! Kaya! Well, yeah, where you fucking are, you know, saying hashtag resist and then starting to go fund me to buy a car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know what I'm t- All right, let's read the Patreon. Okay, so let's, as look, let's as. read the Patreon. We're going to read the, uh, the sponsors first as Mark. No, we Scoobin. did the sponsors. No, we did that last episode. Did we weave the sponsors? You did them here. You weaved we, them into I the weaved them into Oh, the I forgot. Girl, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm in a blackout and I'm tired. Yeah, blackout and I'm tired. And Max and Schumann's isn't a properly enough worked out bit yet, so let's just put it on high. No, but that's why I want to start doing it so we, so we can start to figure it out. Why don't we do it in the car when it's just me and you talking? Well, I'll just come over to your house and I won't be wearing pants and we'll both talk back and we'll just talk about black eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love the black hog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're two the, Bavarian guys who like black dick. These people went to Z- these people went to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. They joined the matriarchy. We'll read your name out as we do each and every episode for our newest Patreon members. There's a lot of them today. The matriarchy is fucking growing. Right. Yes. I mean, it's growing. Three of them. 73, so we're going to read them quick. Um, if you didn't want to make a name, we understand. We'll just say your name and then straight to the back. All right, let's yep. go. Jack Matthews, right. straight to the back. Straight to the back. Zach, not a muzzy, but down with ISIS Bowers. <laughs> Ten. I think that kid's making just more of a political yeah. statement. Yeah. Fumes you can taste should it go to waste. 
Ken, that's yeah, just awesome. throw his name yeah. down right now. By the way, real quick, we, we also give the winner a PPW pseudo penis of the week because uh, yeah. hyenas have pseudo penises, so we'll pick the winner after this. Yeah. Um, that's why we're, you're saying write it down. Uh, Lukey B, ready to bring Chrissy D to Poughkeepsie for the boys. Put him on the Put list. On list. Yes. Bobby 1 800, no more toots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hit me hard. Yeah. Gotta go on the list. Wow, I think we got a fu- we got a barn burn today. Yeah, all right. Baby D's nuts got fumes, but still cracked open. <laughs> Good one, Clyde Drexler. Clyde Drexler. Clyde, Clyde Drexler. Drexler. What we say is because the other ones are Michael Jordan. And Clyde Drexler is a basketball player that live in Michael Jordan's prime. So just just some back. You're, you're great, but you're born in the wrong era. Wrong era. Then we got David here for the content. Cameron, I got a low grade fever. Wood. <laughs> and FIBA F V A H funny, but good Clyde one. Drexler. Clyde Drexler. Mark Perez here for the content. Here for the content. Jake, father bills a pedo because he touched my pink torpedo. <laughs> Chaconi. <laughs> Just give him the title. It's yeah. over. Yeah. I mean, we can't we might not even read the rest of the names. <laughs> give Jake, him the title. Give me one more. Repeat that one more time. Jake, father bills a pedo because he touched my pink torpedo. <laughs> Chaconi. <laughs> 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 what it is? Oh my God! <laughs> okay, then we got Logan Leastman. Okay, uh, that's for the content. Uh, that Scottish one. My piece burns probably the clap. Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good one, Clyde Drexler. Manny Sedino. Uh, here for the content. Sandra D, the ginger camel jockey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, He's on the fence, and uh, he got bounced back. Okay, good one though. Lem G. Here for the content. Ariana Cavatolo. How you doing? And your father's out there in the van. Yeah, Haley. Haley. Here Mary Sutera. Hachatabella. Anastasia One. Yeah. Here Steph for, Andrews. Here for the content. Johnny, I'll crack you open and clean you out two times. <laughs> Good. Good, but you know. Um I oh, would I would say he was more of a he was more of a not not a Clyde Drexler, but more of a just a role player. Now this is a this is all one word, so I'm gonna try my best here. Go for it. Jose, here for the Kant, but actually VIP Walker Cozy M. Mexi Australian Co- build the wall. Cozy Mexi Australia build the wall. Okay, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice effort, but it's too long. But we like it. Thank you for your service. Kid tried to do a triple backflip and he fell on the beam. It's what it is. Okay, next up, Lauren looks like Pocahontas, but gives a blowy like Ursula Greco. <laughs> Yeah. Put her on a list. Yeah, 10. And also my Snapchat CDTV. Uh, Amanda <laughs> Amanda Bruno. Brian Dinger. Here for content. Danny slurp it till I serve it. Splurging, but it's burning DeVito. Put him on the left. Yeah, DeVito's funny. Yeah. Brittany. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Mrs. Pappas. Yeah. He doesn't smoke. Uh, Matt Kirby. Here Amelia the, Sadie. Here for the content. Corinne Sessa. Here for the content. Wilson Jones. Here for the content. David going to sit in the catapult like a good little girl, Davila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, this might be the best list. Yeah. Then we got Khalil Jones. Here for the content. I am Chrissy's cute toot short and kraut. Uh, yeah. He, okay. He triple back, fell in the beam. Stefano Lupo. I'm straight to the back. Church of the Latter 14 Day Saints, a.k.a. Primo, a.k.a. The Frostback. I, mean, I don't know. Triple backflip fell in the beam. Zay Jabul. Uh-oh. Uh, straight to the back. Jeff, not Epstein, consensually cracking open ham wallets. You tuck it, I cuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is the best list of all time. Okay, Stephen Monroe. I'm straight to the back. Sean, cracking toots and packing snooze. Houlihan. Fun. Yeah, Clyde Drexler. Charlie. Here for content. Theo Vaughn's mullet. <laughs> it's it's goody. It's goody. Not an FF was just experimenting. Don't tell my dad he voted for Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we goody. got another long one word. Stosh, big dumb Polak, a.k.a. Adolf rolled over my boys. Thank Brooklyn Jesus for that. Yeah, it's yeah, a goody. It's a goody. It's a goody. You can put him down. Gabriel Bowen. Gabriel Bowen. Katie Cowell. Here for the content. Daniel Ramirez. Welcome. Pat from Freely... Pat from Philly, Chris, can you ask your dad to give me my debit card back? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's such a goodie. Oh, goody. my God. That one killed fucking Mike. Yeah. Uh, Brian, thick ass with a thin piece, Badim. <laughs> yeah. Clyde Drexler. Jessica Tapscott. Here Brandon. Content. Jim, I've got to soar my piece, so don't tell my wife, Barry. <laughs> Clyde Drexler. Troy. Here for the content. Mark Sullivan. Welcome to the back. Jake the Jew Goldstein. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's an honorary mention. Lindsay Double D's Augenthaler. Here for the content, kind of tried. Juan Pablo, the white walker who loves banging white toots. Yeah. It fell on the beam. Jason Booty. Welcome, Jason. Jersey kid with his jaw out looking to crack open and clean out. Good one, but he was just, that's a, that's a definition of a Clyde Drexler. 
Amir Hadian. Welcome. We got some muzzies. Uh, Dolph, cute, non-fruit, but will crack open the glutes. Lombardi. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. God, you got to put that on the list. Jesus Christ. Nicola. Nicola. Cole Taylor. Well, Juan P. Valencia, Megan, and then finally, Nicole Chrissy cracked me open on the United Nations porch. <laughs> International Similarly. waters. International Good waters. Good one, Clyde I mean, Drexler. That's like, yeah. I mean, the, the winner, I don't know if we've had a winner that stood out as much as the winner. There were some great ones. That was one of the best lists of all time, but the winner is without a doubt the Torpedo. Yeah, the, my favorite one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just like that. Oh, read that, it out one more. Yeah, I, I mean, Mike? the new guy's fucking nodding his head. I mean, what's that, the new, that new guy winner? crushed it. All right, what's his name, Mike? Jake. Father Bell's a pedo because he touched my pink torpedo, Chicone. I mean, you're you the PPW, you're Mr. Chicone. You might be, you might be number one overall. Overall, yeah, yeah. you're. You 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 got the PPW. Um, so congrats for that, and sorry for just the years of pain you've been in. What can you do, Absolutely. right? I mean, yep. it, it was worth to fucking make the HH PPW. It was. Go to uh, GiannisPappasComedy.com. Go to Chris, uh, Chris D. Comedy. Chris D. Comedy. Com. Check out our days. HistoryHyenas.com for a lot of fun stuff. We're revamping our website. You can gl go, lead our glossary, uh, go read our glossary if you got new friends listening or you want to introduce the podcast to your friends. A great way to start is by sending them over to HistoryHyenas.com, reading the glossary of all the words and our jargon and our language that we've created. So thank you for telling friends. Also, as Venetia always says, it's very important. Go over to iTunes, leave a review, give us some five-star reviews. It really moves us up the queue, and we really appreciate all the proactive support each and every one of you has given us. It's because of you that we're doing this, and uh, as you can tell, your money's well spent because we got smoothies today. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. I'm putting everything on the company card, including my Disney trip. See ya. <laughs>